My name is Megan. You're watching Miss Megan Knits. Links to find me on Ravelry and via email are in the description box below. If you want to get in touch with me quickly, Ravelry message is the best way to do it, but email works just fine. How is everybody today? I'm having a really good day. It's my birthday today. I'm 21 years old and uh, I guess that's a big milestone for a lot of people, but I don't really have any interest in drinking, so there goes that milestone. But anyway, I'm having a really good time on my birthday. I got some really nice presents from my family last night. Um, and I just wanted to kind of show off the stuff I got because it's knitting related. So, yeah, I was talk about yarn and plans and crafty things and uh, we'll jump right into it. The first thing I see, besides the card, when I open up my package is this really soft t-shirt. And it says, I heart yarn. It's soft, it's the right size, it's I heart yarn, what more is there to love? I quickly discovered as I was going through this that my mom basically took a trip up to Hobby Lobby, which is kind of far from us, and not super far, but kind of far, and went and bought a bunch of stuff um, that she thought looked cool, which is nice and interesting because she's not a super big knitter. She does know how to knit, but she's not super into it like I am. So it's interesting to see what she picked out and why she picked it out. And then it's interesting for me as a challenge to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to start with the things that aren't yarn and then get into the things that are yarn. So the first thing we have here are these pins. They look like shawl pins or scarf pins. I am shaking. They look like shawl pins or scarf pins. They're beautiful. Um, and I think they would look really good on pretty much all of my shawls, so that's awesome. I got two darning needles because you always need darning needles. Um, blunt point for needle point weaving, joining knitted items, and plastic hem. So I'll be using them for joining knitted items. Those are helpful, useful, practical. I got these cute enamel pins. So this one says yarn queen yarn makes me happy let's roll skein on girl i don't know where i'm gonna put these but i think i'm gonna put them on my purse that i actually use because i want everyone to know i'm a knitter maybe they'll go on a project bag i'm not entirely sure where they're gonna go also please excuse the dog frolicking in the background i promise those are happy noises <laughs> and then the last thing i got that wasn't yarn related are these wooden clips these clothes pins Keep calm and carry yarn. I make cute things with yarn. Yarn is my spirit animal. And then this one just has some stockinette stitches. If I can get the camera to focus on it. Maybe not. Maybe it's not going to happen. But anyway, it has some stockinette stitches and a llama. Um, I don't know what to do with these. But they're freaking adorable. I love them. Um, I'm not sure... Maybe clip it to a project bag, maybe, on the outside tote, on the outside pocket. I don't know. We'll see. And then I got some yarn. Um, I'm really excited about this yarn because it's yarn. Most, well, some of it's Red Heart, a lot of it's Yarn B. I've never really worked with Yarn B yarn before, but I squished it last time we went to Hobby Lobby, and it felt so good, and I was so excited, and there were so many choices, and it looked really high quality, so I'm excited to work with it, and we'll see if it holds up to my expectations. So this is Red Heart Hookah Charm. Um, it's really soft and it's sparkly. It's this kind of teal color called Eclipse. And it has about 198 grams, 432 yards. So this is almost 200 grams of yarn, which would make a lovely knitted scarf or a lovely hat and mitten set. Um, I'm thinking of crocheting a hat out of this because I don't get much crochet practice with things other than my amigurumi project I'm currently working on, the platypus. Um, so this might be cute to crochet a wearable. I don't think I've ever, I have ever crocheted a wearable, but it was a long time ago. So I'm thinking maybe a really cute beanie, maybe one of those puff stitch beanies, I don't know. I'll see. But this seems like enough yarn to do that, I hope, because it's 200 grams. Then we have Red Heart Scrubby Sparkle in this lovely neutral gray color called Oyster. 
you can see it's kind of coming unraveled. But actually, it's a really good chance to see what it looks like up close. It's got all these scrubby things on them, and they're stiff. Almost like toothbrush bristles. And they're perfect for dishcloths because you can make scrubbies. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to make, like, just some scrubbies out of it, or if I'm going to... Uh, make some of those dishcloths that have a scrubby corner on them or a scrubby half. That way you have half dishcloth, half scrubby, or mostly dishcloth with a little scrubby corner or something like that. But it's just really fun to squish. And um, I'm going to figure out. It's, it's definitely going to be a dishcloth of some kind. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see what this, how this ends up. The next thing I got, Yarn B Urban Chic. This is actually a DK weight yarn. I don't have much experience working with DK weight yarn, so I'm excited to try this out. It is an acrylic cotton blend. Oh, I should have mentioned before. This one is 97% acrylic, 3% other fibers. The other fibers are probably the sparkles. And this one is, if I could read, 100% polyester. This one, back to this one, is 78% acrylic, 22% cotton. So it has a little bit of cotton in it. Um, I really like blends that are mostly acrylic with a little bit of something else in them. I think it's a great chance to practice working with some natural fibers in a less expensive way. Um, and also the acrylic tends to balance everything out and make it really machine washable. I think this is machine washable. 30 degrees Celsius machine washable, dry flat, I believe. If I can read those symbols correctly. Does it say in words? Don't iron, don't bleach. P for dry cleaning. So this is 100 grams, 275 yards. It's a weight three, light. Um, it's really squishy. I think this would be really good for a garment that you wear in the spring or even in the summer. Um, if I had enough of this, I might even make like a vest or a sweater, but I don't clearly because I only have one skein. I think a pair of fingerless gloves or a lightweight hat that you'd wear like in the summer or as an accessory would be really cute out of this. So I'm gonna try and find a cute pair of fingerless gloves. Maybe I'll work my magic and create one. I'm not sure, but, and it's really soft too. It's really soft, it's really comfortable. It's comfortable against the neck, so I wouldn't mind making a cowl out of it. But the problem is it's cotton blend, so it probably won't be as warm as the next yarn I'm about to show you, which has a natural fiber in it, an animal fiber in it. Mom just love the colors and I love the colors too. I'm thinking I have white and I have black and I have this color pink and I have some gray. So I'm wondering if I can, oh, but those are all worsteds. I was thinking I could pair some yarn I already had with this to kind of um, beef it up a little bit and give me a little bit more yardage. We'll see. I think fingerless mitts, maybe something that go all the way up would be super cute. This is the Yarn B Alpaca Twist. I can line it up properly. This color is charcoal and this color is blush. They're 90% acrylic, 10% alpaca, but look at that halo. And they're super soft. You can totally feel the alpaca. Now I have had the chance to work with 100% baby alpaca. Um, and this is not quite as soft as that, but it also seems like it won't be as drapey, which is better if you want something like a hat or mittens that you don't really want to start flopping over on you. But if you want like a shawl or something, like a cowl or a wrap, you might want that drape. So it's uh, interesting. It doesn't really flop over when you hold it. 100 grams, 175 yards. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I think I'm gonna use these together because um, they look so good together. But I'm not sure. Hmm. I think I wanna crochet. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't have a plan for these. I'm just brainstorming right now, right here. Um, but crocheting like a granny striped cowl might be really cute in these yarns. I could do a cowl, I could do a beanie maybe. A beanie would be cute. 
We'll see. Yarn B Sugar Wheel, Petit Ford Galore. I can't pronounce that in the French way. I just don't know how. Here's the color. I have never worked with a yarn cake before um, that changes colors like this, like a Karen cake or anything like that. But I've always kind of eyed them because the color combinations are so cute. And so I have just this one, and I'm thinking maybe a scarf out of it, maybe a crocheted scarf, or maybe a knitted scarf. I could see this working up really nicely in like a simple seed stitch maybe, or a moss stitch, just, or maybe I'll go with like a herringbone, like a simple all over stitch pattern, and then just work up a scarf in this. This is 100% acrylic, it's really soft, it's really nice feeling acrylic. Um, it is 199 grams, so almost 200 grams, for 355 yards. So, this could make a knitted scarf, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll crochet a really open triangle scarf out of it, or maybe I will just um, knit a scarf out of it. But I think it's going to be a scarf. Because I think the scarf would show the long color changes the best, as opposed to like a hat, you might not get through all the color changes, or a um, mittens that you might get two different mittens that don't match because the color changes. So I really think um, a scarf is the way to go. I would say leg warmers because those would show long color changes, but I don't wear leg warmers, so I don't need those. Yarn B Sweet Minis in the colorway Hello Hummingbird. These are 100% acrylic. Oh, these are also a DK weight. I thought these were a worsted. These are a DK weight. 100% acrylic. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I think these are going to be worked into some kind of mosaic slip stitch pattern. Um, probably a hat or a cowl, but these just are so cool. I can do kind of things with them. Or my other idea is to save them for like the brim of a hat, to do like a brim and a pom-pom and say purple, and then do the rest of the hat in a normal color. But these are DK and I don't have a lot of DK and I'd rather work with stuff I have in my stash. Um, I don't know, this is DK. But I don't think these really go. This teal goes, actually. I can do the teal as like an accent. I don't know. We'll see. My mom originally bought it thinking I could do heels and toes for socks with it, but it's a DK weight, 100% acrylic. It's not ideal for that. So, but I think there's just so many things. Each of these is 100 yards, so they're 40 grams each. Um, 40 grams each, 100 yards each, 100% acrylic. So we'll see what these end up being, but those are good to just have in my stash, um, just to keep around, maybe for a scrappy project or something like that. This is the Premier Wool Free Sock. My mom wanted to get me some sock yarn and she wanted to get me something I would never buy for myself, um, something wild, and she succeeded. These are crazy wild. This is in the colorway Vegas Lights. These are actually wool free. They are mostly acrylic, if I can find, yes. 93% acrylic, 7% PBT. You need two balls for one pair of socks because they're in 50 gram hanks. Why would you do that? If you're marketing this as sock yarn, why would you not sell enough of it in one skein to be a pair of adult socks? Uh, luckily for me, she matched the dye lots. I'm not sure if that was an accident or on purpose, but either way, go mom. Um, and these work out actually striped. I did some looking on Ravelry to see how these would work up before I picked a pattern that I was going to use. And um, they work up kind of stripey, so that's really cool. I've decided, well right now I've decided, by the time I cast on I might change my mind, but right now I've decided on the vanilla latte sock pattern because I've never knit it. It's super popular and it looks really good with stripes. Um, and it's a break from my usual toe up um, afterthought heel sock which I was getting kind of sick of after making a bunch of them. So this will be a nice uh, welcome reprieve. But the colors are just so wild. And it's so cool with socks because you can pick wild colors and wild patterns and stuff because no one's going to see them. They're going to be in your shoes. Unless you want someone to see them, in which case you invite people over and walk around in your sock feet. 
I've done that. Or when you wear hand-knit socks to airport security because then you have to take off your shoes and you're like, where's my socks? You know, I've done that too. These are super cool. They feel soft enough. They feel stretchy enough for socks. I'm a little worried about the acrylic content making my feet sweat. Um, I made some slippers out of some Karen Simply Soft and some Red Heart Super Saver, you know, cheap acrylics. And my feet just get so bogged down and sweaty in them because the, um, the it's plastic, acrylic is basically plastic, doesn't absorb moisture the way cotton socks that you buy at the store or wool socks that you would knit do. So I'm a little worried about these, but um, I have used acrylic sock yarn before. I have used Wool Like from Michaels and made a pair of socks for my dad and he says they don't make his feet sweat at all. So hopefully these will work out nicely. You'd think they'd be tested, right? So that somebody would know that if they made their feet sweat. And it's it has a stretch to it, not as much as a wool, but it definitely has a stretch to it. So I'm not worried about it being, I don't know, let's see. Vanilla latte socks is my plan for these. Thank you so much for watching my little birthday haul. But before we go, I am popping back in to share a couple of other birthday surprises I got. Um, so the first thing is my dad took me to Michael's and this is more work than it is fun. Well, it's, it's fun, it's knitting. I am going to be working on a hat and mittens to donate to my church Holly Fair. I bought the yarn for that. Now I went to Michael's and my local Michael's does not have as good a yarn selection as my local AC Moore and they're like right across the street from each other. So I usually go to AC Moore, but I figured, oh well, I'll go to Michael's this time, see their selection, they're having a big sale. The sale wasn't on the yarn. The yarn wasn't that great priced. It was okay priced, but it wasn't like perfect priced. And I couldn't find what I was looking for. I was looking for something that was mostly acrylic that had a natural fiber component um, of some kind of animal fiber. Um, Lion Brands Touch of Alpaca would have been good. Lion Brands Woolies would have been good. But I know other brands make similar kinds of products. I also wanted to feel Peyton's Classic Wool um, to see what it felt like to see if it was too scratchy and to read the care instructions to see if it would be too difficult to care for. But anyway, I wanted to explore all that and I didn't really get a chance to do that at my local Michaels. I, I ran into a lot of Red Heart Super Saver, I ran into a lot of Lion Brand Homespun, which I hate, I hate, I hate. Um, I just didn't run into a lot of stuff I liked. I ran into a lot of Burnett Velvet, which was so tempting. I had to resist, I had to resist. And I ran into some baby yarns. There was a lot of different stuff I ran into, but I didn't run into what I liked. I did get to feel the Peyton's Classic Wool. It was too scratchy for my liking for a hat. Um, mittens would have been fine, but a hat is too scratchy. At least in my personal opinion. So what I ended up buying was 100% acrylic, which is warm enough, but not super warm, easy to care for, and it's pretty soft, so I'm liking it. Um, I just want to be able to show you. It's kind of coming untangled. This one's less untangled. This is Lion Brand's Heartland. I've never worked with it before. I have worked with other Lion Brand yarns and been satisfied, so I'm hoping this one's good. It's a heathered kind of look. And I got this brown color because I thought it would be good unisex. I'm making the hat and mittens, the antler hat and mittens by Tin Can Knits, in an adult medium. Hopefully that way a man or a woman could pick it up and wear it. Um, and I'm gonna make the hat with a removable pom-pom. I think. I think I'll put a removable pom-pom on it. That way, if someone wants a pom-pom, doesn't want a pom-pom, they can figure that out for themselves. <laughs> but I got two skeins of this, which should be more than enough to make an adult medium. This is in the colorway, let me see, Mammoth Cave. Oh, I didn't match the dye lots. Did I match the dye lots on accident? No, I didn't. They're a different dye lot. So that should be okay if I use one skein for the mittens and one skein for the hat. They're close enough, I think, that no one will be able to tell if they're not in the same garment. I won't put them right next to each other in a color change scenario. Um, I'll do one for the mittens, one for the hat, and it'll work out just fine, I think, because I didn't notice in the store. I am terrible at figuring out dye lots because a lot of the Red Heart yarns I work with are going no dye lot now, and um, I'm not used to checking. 
Anyway, that's what I got at Michael's. That's all I got at Michael's. Um, I'm very proud of myself for not going crazy on the velvet yarn. But then my boyfriend came over to visit with me on my birthday. And not only did he bring me a new computer monitor, or well, his old computer monitor that's way better than the one I was using. So, and he set it up for me, which is great. Um, he brought me this. This is a book, clearly, called Crocheted Bears and Other Animals, 25 Toys to Crochet. I was looking at this in Joanne's when I bought a different book. It was Cuddly Animals to Crochet, and I'm currently working out of this one, making a platypus. But I was really torn between that book and this book. And I picked that book because it had a few more different kinds of animals and it had animals using baby safe eyes, embroidered eyes, crocheted eyes, instead of this book which uses safety eyes, which I don't have any experience with. But it was so cute and he sat with me very patiently through the store because I was flipping through both books and trying to figure out which one I wanted and hemming and hawing and I finally picked the other one. But I didn't notice, he told me he took a picture of this one and ordered it online <laughs> for my birthday so that I would have both books. Um, which is super sweet of him. I don't know what I'm gonna make first. I'm so excited. But the cute thing is, I forgot to tell you the cute thing. They're all couples. So see, this is a couple. But if you look, here's a couple of rabbits. Here are some dogs. They're just so fudging cute a bear and some bees so they're not all like romantic couples cherry and blossom look at that they're just so cute and um every time i use this book i'm gonna remember him and i don't know what i'm gonna make first but i gotta start something I, this whole video i'm like i gotta cast something on i gotta start something i really have to cast on this hat and mittens for the Holly Fair. My deadline's December 1st. I hate working with deadlines, but it's a far enough deadline that I accepted. But like, I want to start one of these, but I really got to finish my sweater and I really got to finish my platypus and I want to cast on a pair of socks with that wild yarn, but I really got to finish my sweater and I really got to finish my platypus. I've got a scarf design that I really got to get working on. But I'm just so excited. I have so much inspiration right now. So when I'm stuck and I'm in a rut, I'm going to come back to this video and remember all of my grand ideas. So anyway, now we can say goodbye. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I got and talking about yarn with me. Um, you guys are the best for watching. Thank you so much. And uh, again, if you want to find me, links are in the description below. Grab my message. Best way to get to me quickly. Uh, email will work too, but that'll be a little bit slower because I don't check it every day. And if you want to see some of my designs, that will be in the description as well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And have a wonderful day.